Hi, welcome back uh, to the channel. So uh, as usual, we're going to review how the indices had performed and then uh, what are the things to look out for going forward as we go into the month of September next week. <clears throat> okay, so uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the performance charts on the screen. Let's uh, get the chart out over here. Okay, so from the screen, you will be able to see the performance chart. So we can see the um, the whole week, the US market was uh, down. Okay, um, all three indices down about uh, 4%. NASDAQ, the worst is 4.4%. Uh, what happened in the past week or last week is that uh, the US market actually uh, went down and tried to rebound, as you can see over here. Uh, and then uh, Powell gave the sucker punch on Friday as he mentioned that, or he gave a speech that mentioned that uh, the inflation number is still high. So you will take the you know tough action to uh, bring down the inflation. And as, as in the process, uh, it will also bring down the economy. So uh, this is how the market reacted over here. As uh, Dow Jones plunged 1,000 points, S&P down more than 100 points, etc. So for the Hong Kong market, you can see that uh, the Hang Seng managed to recover strongly to go into the positive mode at uh, 2.0% or 2%. Okay, and then uh, STI flat about 0% throughout the week. So let's uh, look at the uh, technical over here. <clears throat> so I uh, mentioned last week that the market should be bearish uh, for the week and uh, indeed it happened. So you can see here is that uh, this is the trend line that I've drawn, I think last week, if uh, it's in the video. And then what you can see is that Dow managed to touch the trend line and rebound until Powell make the speech and then the uh, Dow breaks this uh, trend line support convincingly. So what happened is that the, you can see the Dow has moved to uh, retest this previous resistance turn support at 32,234. Okay, so this pattern, as you can see now, let's erase all the drawing here. We can see that uh, this pattern that the Dow has formed is in fact uh, something that is even more bearish. So are we facing a uh, <clears throat> bearish month ahead? Well, this is one thing that uh, we want to know. And we are going to do a projection over here. So far, all the projections has come true. Uh, the technical aspect for the indices is, is quite uh, accurate, I must say. And you must uh, <clears throat> take note that uh, September FOMC will resume. And then uh, next week, um, the uh, interest rate path, uh, whether it's going to uh, continue at 0 0.75 uh, basis point or it is going to slow down. This is very important to the market. So what we are looking at is that um, the index is slated to go down to 31,199 points if there isn't any rebound or the selling continue. Um, however, if we have some hope, we need the uh, Dow Jones to climb back up above this trend line, then uh, move back above uh, this resistance, this minor resistance over here at 33,369 in order to change its fortune. Now, uh, S&P 500, you can see here, it had a very long black candle as well. So uh, it has also the similar pattern as the Dow. So um, just to add this pattern is a head and shoulder pattern. And then uh, we have, this uh, neckline. So a projection can be made by uh, looking at this level. So we 
May C S and P five hundred hitting three thousand nine hundred and eighteen. If the Fed continue its interest rate hike at zero point seven basis point, okay. <clears throat> then uh, we have uh, Nasdaq. Well, uh, I like I say last week, commendable the uh, Nasdaq follow the technical to the point as you see it goes to our projected level at twelve thousand four hundred and twenty seven. And uh, in fact, exceeded our target as it went to close at 12,140. So uh, this 12,140 is uh, very near to its support at 12,100. And then if the Dow or rather the NASDAQ continue its uh, sell off as now, it also form a uh, head and shoulder pattern with a sl sl slanting down neckline which is more bearish then uh, next week we are facing another tough week or next next week as well so or rather for the whole month of uh, September we may be facing some more downward action so in my experience I took note that if the projected level coincide with support level it tend to uh, be quite accurate as of something like this <clears throat> you can see first i projected to here this level so this is a minor support level and it hit and then uh, now this is another support level so will this be uh, hitting as well okay so september is traditionally a bearish month as well so we got to take care and uh, protect our position if uh, you are in the market don't get yourself heavily exposed uh, small position test the market if the market change back to uptrend then you start to add position especially when the uh, stocks uh, start to break up from their uh, resistance if it breaks support <clears throat> maybe you run first stay one side and then uh, look forward to the uh, next opportunity then STI, we are looking at this uh, recovery. So you can see STI projected to here, but it hasn't really hit as it managed to rebound. But the Friday's closing wasn't that convincing as it had a long upper shadow. Looking at the weekly chart, <clears throat> we are looking at the STI uh, still facing some uh, selling pressure as although we have a white candle closing at the end of the week but the uh, selling pressure still uh, persists as we can see from this upper shadow um of course <clears throat> the sti uh, can still uh, you know negate the bearish sign by closing and hitting this level 3289 um, but if next week you can see it close back towards this uh, support level at <clears throat> three two two five zero, I beg your pardon three two two five, then uh, we may see some uh, downward action coming. Then uh, Hang Seng managed to recover strongly after breaking a support level. It was going down towards eighteen thousand seven hundred eighty four, but it managed to recover as uh. I always joke about this is the typhoon changed its fortune. So the typhoon on this particular day, 25th of August, uh, managed to help to change the type. And Hang Seng rebounded strongly to close above this downtrend line. So next, as you can see, I've drawn is to uh, test this resistance level, which is at 20,305 and break up from it to start to change the trend, then the projected level will be 21,032. So let's see whether Hang Seng will continue to there. But uh, the futures closing on Friday wasn't that optimistic as it gave up most of the gain. Um, so we're going to see how the US uh, futures open on Monday morning, and then uh, see how the Hang Seng performed at, before the market. <clears throat> to see whether the market is going to continue to sell off or it is going to um, recover. Next, uh, just the Malaysian market, just a little bit of discussion over here. We can see it 
touch our projected level as I've drawn over here and then managed to rebound strongly together with Hang Seng. So we can see here is that if I were to extend this uh, trend line, we can see here maybe a resistance going forward for the Malaysian market. Now, if we can cross above this trend line, of course, the resistance to watch will be at this level at 1527 but uh, if it's bearish, I would reckon it may, if it can still go up, it uh, may test this as a resistance and pull back. Or it may straight away use this shooting star and pull back to this low to retest this support level. And then, of course, uh, if you want to project downwards again, then we have uh, another downward projection to this level which may see the index retest is uh level here at 1422 uh or retest this low at uh, 1408 okay so uh <clears throat> wrapping up let's see what are we facing next week let me get the screen out here so what we have next week is non farm payroll okay but before that we are looking at this uh <clears throat> fed mid member speaks uh which may give the direction uh of the uh interest rate path so is it going to be 0 0.5 basis point in september and then maintain or it's going to maintain a 0 0.7 basis point this one very important non farm payroll as well if it's strong the market may still continue to go down because uh, this means that the interest rate uh, has uh, more room to go up. All right. So uh, take care and I'll see you next week.